Uh, there's a lot of curvature tests out there which seem to conclusively prove that no matter where you are on this earth, it is impossible to measure curvature. But that's obviously not good enough for a lot of people out there, so I've decided to take the curvature test a little bit further. From my Southern Mountains curvature test video, I have used some of the photos of the Southern Mountains taken from Wellington's south coast. This time I've picked out a few prominent peaks and determined their distance and height above sea level. What I've done is put each one onto a graph, as you can see here, color-coded for convenience. So basically you can draw a line perpendicular to the x-axis and anywhere along the x-axis as it intersects with the lines on the graph that is going to give us the proportions of the background. So we should be able to match the graph up to the photo and the heights of the peaks should correspond. And if this works, this is absolute proof that there is no curvature. It works on the principle that it's all line of sight. So as you can see here, I've put some concentric rings from the spot that the photo was taken so you can see the relative distances. Just to illustrate that what we see in the background is just line of sight, but the heights of the peaks have been extrapolated to account for distance and perspective. So let's see how they match up. Almost perfectly. Again, this just would not work if we lived on a curved surface. And we can use this to find the actual sea level. So that's quite a prominent false horizon created by the waves and swell in the foreground due to the camera being just a couple of meters above sea level. Or maybe it says Dinky Cash proposed in his video on perspective that past the point of convergence, the horizon actually starts to drop. So this seems to prove to me that perspective is a lot more complex than people think. And due to the fact that the further peaks do not seem to drop off, we can only conclude that it's flat. The perspective and proportions work out perfectly.